Good morning guys! Um, this is not how I wake up. I've just done it because I wanted to do a video and then I thought why not take you with me to have a cup of tea. This is like one of the most impromptu videos that I've ever made. Um, as you know, I'm just gonna go downstairs. As you know, I'm like the most tea obsessed person ever, um, especially with Nestamalt. Like, I freaking love Nestamalt. Oh, today's such a nice day. Um, and I just thought that it would be nice to have you along for this in the morning. I realized that, you know, some of you guys might not even like tea. You may not have had tea. You might be coffee drinkers. So I thought I'd use this as an opportunity to show you how to make tea as well. I mean, this is like a really basic skill. So this is basically directed at those of you who don't know how to make tea or those of you who would like to know more about how to make tea. And I also wanted to thank you guys for the comments that you guys left for one of my previous videos. So I'll get to that part afterwards. Before that, I just wanted to show you my tea collection because I feel like, you know, I'm pretty proud of that. So this is my tea collection. And as you can see, right in the middle, I've got my Nestamort like this stuff is essential guys for me it's just like a multi drink but it's just one of those things that I just love in my tea um, so I have got some Earl Grey now Earl Grey I used to hate it but recently I've actually liked it it's sort of like minty and a bit spicy and a bit smoky so yeah um, and as I said my Nesta malt I've got some Pam's green tea with rose which I had yesterday which was so nice like the color that you get in the tea is just amazing um, and I've got my green tea with lemon and ginger which I love as well I've got some Lunkin Zesta tea yummy and this is the stuff that we get in New Zealand so Dilma tea um, and I always get English breakfast which is probably the tea that I most commonly have got some Lipton green tea um, and tea too I'm not sure if you have tea too in Sri Lanka but definitely in Australia you do and I think we got this as a gift and it's sort of like the top sips I'm not the biggest fan of peppermint tea or like you know mint chocolate and things like that so I do not drink this this is not mine but it's a part of my tea collection but yeah this is my beautiful tea collection I also love the fact that I've got like a massive tiny teddy collection uh, very essential in my adult life I think this morning I'm gonna have uh, English breakfast so I'm gonna take this one so the cup of my choice today is this one which is actually by the Jamie Oliver collection um, I actually got matching ones for my whole family and because they're not here that often they live in a different city I secretly use them depending on what my mood is um, today it is the perfect blend just like my brew I just love their like quotes and things that they have on the cups now for this if you're a newbie you need a cup just like what I have here some boiling water which I have already done um, you want to have some sugar if you take sugar in your tea you want to have some milk and I'm gonna get myself some Nesta malt as well so let me get those and I will show you how to make the perfect tea um, I'm not sponsored by Nestle or Nesta malt by the way just if you're wondering I just really really love Nesta malt <laughs> Although I wouldn't mind being sponsored by Nestamol, I mean, that would be ideal. So essentially what you need to do is put your tea bag in your cup, just like that, and pop your boiling water. I like to do this sort of three quarters away. And let it brew for about one to two minutes. It just gives the tea bag time to sort of infuse all its goodness into the boiling water. <laughs> I'm 
sounds so lame. If you want, and I'm quite impatient, so what I do is I sort of stir it a little bit. Once you're happy, take the tea bag out and put milk to your taste. Now I tend to put quite a bit. Give it a stir. And obviously as an additional step, I put Nesta malt in. It just makes it taste more creamy, I guess. And I usually put one, two, and why not a little bit. And just give it a good stir. And after that, all you have to do is enjoy your cup of tea. Also, I just want to say, I don't actually take sugar in my tea. Um, I kind of stopped it when I came to New Zealand and now I can't really have tea with sugar. It just tastes too sweet. I do put Nestamot, which has some sugar, but it's a lot better than adding, you know, white sugar. So if you really want to transition to that, try it for two weeks straight. And then when you taste sweet tea, it'll be just way too much and you'll just stop taking sugar in your tea. And it's just like really healthy and it means that you can have more cups of tea a day as well, which is a bonus. So one of the other things that I wanted to do was just to thank you guys who left comments um, and messaged me about my video that was titled Dear Brown Girl. Um, if you haven't seen it already, go check it out. Um, it's basically a spoken word poetry video that I did about my experiences as a Sri Lankan teenager that came to New Zealand and you know, the sort of struggles that you go through and I guess feeling lost culturally and you know, you don't know many people when you first start your high school and you know, those kinds of things I guess. It was a really personal video so I found it really hard to make myself put it online um, but the reception has been amazing and you know, listening to some of your stories as well, that's something that I will just take away completely because when you are going through something like that, you don't realize that there are so many others that are on the same boat um, and you kind of lose your cultural identity. Um, and I'm so happy that I have come to embrace it and I've come to, you know, promote the Sri Lankan traditions and things like that because I'm so, so proud of my heritage, my country, where I came from, where I was born. But it wasn't the easiest thing um, when I first came here. So go check it out if you haven't already. And to those that commented and to those that are going through the same identity crisis, just know that with time, you will come to accept your cultural identity. You will come to accept your differences because those differences are what makes us all beautiful and you know i just want to emphasize the fact that we're all beautiful in our own way and that's how it should be um so thank you so much for sharing your stories but also seeing my side of the story and um the support that you guys have given me i'm honestly so honored to know you through youtube and to get that love is just an amazing feeling so i love you guys so much um have an amazing weekend be happy have a nice cup of tea and start your day with a smile and i will see you again with another video very soon bye guys <laughs>